Now concerning the coming of Elijah, John the Baptist, and the end times. In John 1, starting in verse 19, we read, And this is the witness of John, John the Baptist, when the Jews sent to him priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? And he confessed and did not deny, and he confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? And he said to them, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. And they said to him, Who are you? So that we may give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet had said, This is the coming of Elijah. This is John the Baptist. And he says all he is is the voice of one crying in the wilderness, saying, make straight the way of the Lord. And that's what we're to do in these days. We're to be that voice, that voice of the one crying in the wilderness, saying to repent, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight the way of the Lord. Because also we read in Malachi 4, verse 5, Behold, I am going to send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. And then we read again in Matthew chapter 11 starting in verse 13. For the Lord said, All the prophets and law prophesied until John. And if you care to accept it, he himself is Elijah who was to come. John said he was not Elijah. The Lord said he is Elijah, who is to come. And he who has ears, let him hear. So John said he wasn't Elijah. The Lord said he was. And then we read again in Matthew 17, beginning in verse 11, Matthew 17, 11, And he answered and said to them, Here's the Lord speaking again later on. And he answered and said to them, Elijah is coming. John said he what? Malachi said he's going to send Elijah before the coming of the great and terrible the Lord, day of the Lord. John said he was not Elijah. The Lord said he is Elijah, if you care to accept it. And then in Matthew 17, 11 and 12, in, he answered and said, Elijah is coming and will restore all things. But I say to you that Elijah already came, and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they wished. So also the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. So we have this coming of Elijah. It was prophesied about in the Old Testament long after Elijah. John came, said he wasn't Elijah. The Lord said he was, if you cared to accept it. But then he said, Elijah is coming. And Elijah is coming again in the two witnesses to Israel. And this coming of Elijah is to Israel. But we're to have that coming of Elijah. What's the coming of Elijah? It's that spirit, of, that's the Holy Spirit. It's the voice of the one crying in the wilderness to repent and prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. That's the coming of Elijah. Turning the people back to God. Turning the people from loving the world and the things of the world. From walking in the flesh. That's the coming of Elijah. John said he wasn't Elijah because no, he was not actually Elijah. All these people trying to show you these weird macho pictures of two macho guy's going to be there in the tribulation and it's going to be Elijah, one of them. It's not true. It's the coming of the spirit of Elijah. John said he wasn't Elijah. The Lord said he was because John was John. And he was saying, he was in the spirit. The Holy Spirit was using him. 
in that same sense of the coming of Elijah. That's why the Lord said he is Elijah, if you care to accept it. Then later he's telling the disciples, Elijah is coming because he's coming again. That spirit of Elijah. It's the spirit of God. It's the Holy Spirit doing his work through those people that hear his voice. And in these days, his voice, the voice of the one crying in the wilderness is saying, come out of her, my people. Come out of her and repent. Repent and prepare the way of the Lord. That's the coming of Elijah. There's not going to be the actual Elijah come back to earth in the first three and a half years of the tribulation in the two witnesses being one of them. Or the other one being Enoch. You know, it's the spirit of Elijah. Enoch walked with God and then he was not for God took him. It's those that don't love the world or the things of the world. They don't walk in the flesh. They're preparing the way of the Lord. They hear the voice of the one crying in the wilderness. The Holy Spirit's the one crying in the wilderness, telling us to repent and prepare the way of the Lord. That's the coming of Elijah. It's in me. It's to be in you. I'm the voice of one crying in the wilderness. I live in a wilderness. My name happens to be John. But God wants to, you to be the voice of one crying in the cities, in the towns, along the roads, in the villages, wherever you're at. Be the spirit of Elijah. Be the voice of one crying in the wilderness, saying to repent and prepare the way of the Lord.